videos about what I think the most underrated magic trick is. But for some reason, the music um, mumbled my voice and I just can't hear anything. So I've decided to just redo it. Hopefully the uh, music will mumble this time. It's actually really loudly. So personally, I don't perform a lot of mentalist effects. I don't do the kind of mentalist effects. It's not my thing. I, just, I, can't, I can't pull off this persona of mentalism. So I usually stick to card tricks and the um, objects tricks. But there's one trick, one of the first tricks I ever got, which is Memory Relapse. Memory Relapse by Jay Sankey. Jay Sankey is one of my most favorite magic creators. Half my stuff I bought from his website. All the other magic and just other more magic shop other places. Um, and Memory, memory Relapse is by far my favorite. The reason I like it so much is because it's just so powerful. First, let me tell you what Memory, memory Relapse is. Memory Relapse is when you cause a spectator to forget a shape that was drawn on an envelope. And it's just, it's a really powerful effect. I mean, you're going into their mind, and you're removing something. You know, so I say. But that's what you're doing, and it's, it's really powerful. I mean, the people I perform it for, just, they, they, they don't know how it's done. See, they don't see it as magic either. They see it as some sort of spell that you have cast over them that makes them forget a shape drawn. It's just a really powerful effect. Uh, the reason I think it's underrated is because, first of all, I don't even see per people perform it on TV or on YouTube or even talk about it on the forums. Um, it's not even on Penguin Magic. They don't sell it there. I actually just checked that today. Um, I bought it off of Jay's, web Jay's website about a year ago, and I only got it for 17 bucks, which is really cheap. And I think that price tag scares a lot of people away. Because... You know, he in, in he doesn't even show in the trailer how it's performed. He just kind of talks about it. So I think that scares people away, especially the seventeen dollar price um, price mark, which I don't I don't like to buy cheap stuff. But I saw it and I like Jay's stuff and it just looked interesting to me. And it really it really is great, and I just don't think it gets the credit it deserves. Now some honorable mentions I wanna I wanna mention, <laughs> honorable mentions I wanna mention. And those two honorable mentions are the um, Snap Change, which I don't see a lot of people perform anymore. They do all these elaborate things. So I, think, I still think a Snap Change is just it's really visual and really good. The second is also Flatline by Jay Sankey, which is the Sharpie trick where they flatten the Sharpie. I just I love Sharpie tricks. Um, I love to do them. I, rate, I do the... Um, Dan Harlan's when he changes the color, which I forget what that one is called, and then you know Solomon Stretch is great by David Penn, but um, I just really think I think flatline flatline is a really strong effect that you can do with your business card or something like that. I mean, obviously I don't have a business card because you know I'm like I'm like thirteen, but if you do, I think it's really good for table hopping stuff like that. And he has some other stuff on the video as well, like um, he has a split cork routine, which I think is also neat for walk around. Anyways. Back to memory relapse. Memory relapse is a really strong effect that I think everyone should at least try. I mean, it's only 17 bucks. 